Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I am going to be cleaning up my newest American Girl doll, um, and I named her Carmen, but she's actually Josefina Montoya, and I found her at a flea market um, during my New York trip, and if you want to watch that New York video, then go check it out, it's already posted on my channel, but this doll, I got her for really cheap at a flea market because she was super dirty and just like completely covered in red nail polish and her hair was just a tangled mess um so my first order of business with her was to clean off her vinyl i have a magic eraser and i started off by just taking off her little outfit and i'm gonna clean that in a minute too um but it was dirty and i needed to get to like her vinyl so i took off her dress and her shoes and her little underwear um and then i got my magic eraser out and i started by cleaning off her face because her face was just like covered in dirt and dark spots that might have been pen or maybe just dirt i don't even know honestly um but i started by cleaning off her face and i did have to kind of scrub at some of the little dots on her face but i did eventually get them all off so next i started cleaning off her arms and her arms were where the majority of the red nail polish was and i was worried that i wouldn't be able to get it off but actually after just like swiping at it once with the magic eraser um i could get the rest of it off with a paper towel like it was coming off super easily um so that was good so i didn't have to use any acetone on her or anything and her arms were definitely dirtier than her face was, but all in all, they were pretty easy to clean off. I started to clean off her legs and actually her legs had more nail polish on them than I thought they did. I didn't realize that there was nail polish on the back of her legs, but after, you know, using the magic eraser on it, that came off pretty well too. She had a few spots on her legs that like she did on her face, but everything actually came off pretty easily. So even though she was dirty, she was pretty easy to clean. So now her vinyl is all fresh and clean and you can see that there's like no nail polish on her anymore and actually I think she was like a whole shade lighter after using the magic eraser on her because she just had so much dirt on her. Um, but the next thing that I did was I got this like Lysol disinfectant spray and I sprayed her cloth body with it and I also sprayed um, her dress and like her shoes and everything um, because I just they need to be cleaned but I didn't want to wash them because I didn't want to mess up um, like the coloring of it or anything but also if I wanted to like actually wash her cloth I would have had to completely take her apart and I just did not really have the experience to do that so I just Lysol sprayed it um, and then set it all to the side to dry for a little bit and with her little leather vest I probably could have Lysoled it but there was just so many like little details in it that I felt like the Lysol maybe wouldn't have like gotten into so I used like a little chunk of the magic eraser and actually it wasn't too dirty. So my next 
thing to do was to take care of her messy hair and it was so so matted and I think I actually probably made it a little bit worse because I put it in a braid after I bought her just to try to keep it out of her face um, but when I went to brush it out like it literally broke my little doll hairbrush it broke one of the bristles just because it was so tangled like I couldn't even get my brush through it and I tried to brush out just like a little section of it but it was just pulling out like a lot of her hair so I actually decided to just go ahead and um, wash it first to see if that would help me brush through it. So I wrapped her up in a towel to try to protect like her cloth body um, from getting too wet and I turned on the water in my bathtub as hot as it would go to try and kill any germs that were in her hair and I just used some of my shampoo to go through and um, wash her hair and I scrubbed it in really good and I actually ended up washing it twice just to make sure that um, all the germs were out and this was really hard to do actually just because her hair was so long and it kept trying to like go down the drain. Um, but I did get it clean. After finally getting all the shampoo out of it, I went in with like a huge glob of conditioner and I rubbed it into her hair and actually I added more after that. Um, and I let it like sit for a minute and I tried to comb through it to like get the conditioner to go through um, all of her hair but it was still really tangled and it was hard to brush through it and I tried using the comb and I also tried using my little doll hair brush but it just really was not working too well. So after rinsing the conditioner from her hair, I decided that I was going to boil wash it. So I took it back to my kitchen and I brushed it out as best as I could, but it was still just really tangled and it was hard to brush through. So I laid out my towel and then I dipped Carmen's hair in some boiling hot water and then I brushed um, a lot of conditioner into it because it was just really not as soft as I was wanting it to be. So and boil washing doll hair makes it like super super soft so I um, put her hair in the boiling water and brushed conditioner into it a few times um, just to try and soften it up as much as I could. But even after all that, it was still pretty dry, so I put some more conditioner in her hair, and then I just put her hair back in that bowl that I was using, and I poured a ton of hot water and some more conditioner into it, and I just let it sit for a while so that maybe her hair would soak up some of the conditioner a little more than it had been. So I let her hair sit like that for about an hour and then I took it out and I brushed through it again and it was definitely easier to brush than it was at the beginning of the project. Um, and then after that I brought her outside and I let her hair dry. Once it was dry, I brought it in and I brushed through it and I put it in a braid because boil washing it had kind of straightened it and I wanted it to be all baby again so I left it in a braid for a few days and this is the final result. She's all clean and her hair is all wavy and pretty and she looks brand new again. As a bonus, here is me unboxing my other new doll that I got in New York. This is a vet, and I'm so excited to have her because I've wanted her since she released. Um, so it's just so awesome to finally have her, and I did get her ears pierced while I was in New York, um, which is cool because she's my first doll besides Carmen that has her ears pierced. So I'm just so excited to have her.
I took her outside to try and get some better video of her, but she actually fell over into the flowers, but she was okay. Um, so that is my new dolls, and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun opening up a vet and cleaning up Carmen, and that's it for now. Bye! Thanks for watching!